Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January. So, January 2021. So, this is being recorded at the end of September, so three months from now, if you watch it now. So, anyway, this is for January 2021. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus? For January 2021. Believe and succeed. So this is the Six of Swords. So you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere in January. You may be moving. Maybe you're moving somewhere. Whatever's happening, you are headed towards a very good place. Something, maybe even take, you're taking a ride by the looks of things. Um, headed to a place where there's a lot of serenity, there's a lot of peace. You're leaving something behind. Okay, so you're moving on from something in January. You're moving. You're going somewhere. Taking a ride. Steering out of a mess, per se. January. What do we have for Taurus? That is more than one. We only want one. One card for Taurus, please. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. You're going to be getting to know somebody by the looks of things. Forty-four on that card. So forty-four is all as well. Four is our building foundations. You know, being comfortable. There's universal protection here. So looks really good, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Moving someplace. Maybe moving in with somebody. May or may not be. Whatever's happening, you're getting to know somebody new by the looks of things. You need to believe in yourself. You're leaving some sort of conflict behind. Justice. This is all about being in balance, getting what you deserve. The truth, a final decision. It's the end of the trial. The decision has been made. It's over. Something has gone some sort of if there's a legal contract being signed, it's going in your favor. Um, this is everything turning out as it should. This is um, balance, being in balance, getting what you deserve this month. Ooh, you may have to spend some money. Money may be coming out of your pocket. You may be losing some sort of money this month. You know, you're spending a lot of money or you may be uh, signing some course, sort of contract where you're having to pay a lot of money. You're going to be giving some money away by the looks of things. Um, you may not be feeling financially comfortable, but I think that you're going to be okay. Um, nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is about perseverance. You may be growing weary, but you've come a very long way. I feel as though your determination is paying off. I do. I feel like you've reached a point where at points, times, you want to give up. But I feel like you shouldn't give up because this is a win. You're going to win. Don't give up. If you're thinking about giving up, you're starting to feel ungrounded or you're starting to feel... Um, like something is unrealistic, don't give up. It's about to come and go in your favor. Okay, don't give up. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, maybe you need to get grounded. Maybe you need uh, time alone or something like that. Uh, maybe you need to just let go of your insecurities. Three of Cups that fell out. Now this is a celebration. This is something to celebrate. This is socializing, having fun, uh, getting together with friends, uh, partying, uh, celebrating, celebrating your win. You're going to be celebrating this month. Um, I do feel like you're, maybe you're going to meet some new friends. 
You know, you may meet somebody at a get together that is somebody that you never met. Okay, this could be somebody move that brand new. Maybe you move someplace and you meet somebody new. Um, I feel like you have a lot of doubts, though. I think that you're very doubtful um, that things are going to pan out in your favor, but I feel like they are going to pan out in your favor. I think you need to let go of those doubts. Um, you're about to get exactly what you deserve, and it's in a good way with that justice reversed. I mean, upright. Justice is upright. I don't know why I said reversed. Mmm, geez, that fell out. So we do have, I don't know, some of you are moving, you're traveling. Um, this is a new home, a new destination, it's a new era, it's a new you. I feel like there's there's um, some sort of obsessiveness, stubbornness, extremely stubborn. You may be trying to hang on to money or hold money or maybe you need to hold on to your money. I feel as though you are... Uh, you're, you're leaving the past behind, which is very evident. You are leaving the past behind. I'm sure of it. Okay, with that Six of Swords as well, you are definitely leaving the past behind. Um, you're stepping into a whole new world. You're traveling. You're traveling or you're moving. I see traveling or moving. Or you're just leaving the past behind, something you've been hanging on to. It's final. It's finally over. This is the final decision. This finalizes the contract, whatever the contract is. The contract is becoming final. It's like a closing. It's like it's closed. Um, this is celebrating. But you having to give I think you have to pay some money or something like that you may have to pay some money and that may make you be like oh, I don't like to give away my money you'd rather just hold on to your money but this is some sort of reward you get some sort of reward for whatever it is that you're paying for there's a reward in it the reward is serenity the reward is peace okay so keep that in mind um Beware of greed with that Four of Pentacles. Okay, if it costs you money, it costs you money. If, if this is something that will bring you peace, you know, don't worry about the money. Because peace is more important than money. It feels like you may have some sort of resistance to change. Now, this world card, is the, it's the end of a chapter in your life. It's the end of something big. Okay, you've accomplished something. It's time to leave the past behind and move towards the future. You may even be getting some public recognition this month. I see a change of residence here as well, which I've already said. This is letting go. You may be shedding weight. Uh, Ten of Wands reversed. This is losing weight, dropping weight, letting something go. Your balance is waiting. Balance is waiting for you. You are making a conscious change. Okay, to start over, to to uh, become a whole new person or something like that. You are making a conscious change. You're letting go of something that has weighed you down for a very long time, and I think that you've you're it's it's a difficult decision. I do think it's a difficult decision, but you are you are uh, dropping some sort of heavy weight that has kept you. Uh, kept you down it's kept you down um ace of cups this is a new start in love this is it's a, it's it is this is a flood of emotion this is a new beginning in love so you do have a new beginning here you could meet somebody at a get together unexpectedly and you know you feel some sort of um emotions towards this person i feel as though uh there's some self-love here as well. So you do have a new beginning in love after you drop a burden that you have been holding on to. You, you step into this new life. You move to that new destination and you're free. You're free. It's finally over. It's finally, this is finally over. It's finally over. So something is finally over. This is a new start. It does lead to love. This Ace of Cups is, is love. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a big amount of love. Okay, so you're going to be celebrating, okay, because this is celebrating. I 
this is this is happiness you're going to be very very happy with this change whatever it is happening um two of cups you're leaving behind an old partnership because this is leaving behind dropping a partnership that is not compatible that didn't work out something you have held on to you're finally this is final you're finally dropping that partnership Stepping into a whole new world. It's finally over. This is being in total balance. This is completion of a cycle with that partner that didn't work out. You're finally dropping that burden. You're dropping that baggage. You have a new opportunity here for love. This is an opportunity you are absolutely going to love. You're going to be out socializing. You're going to be very, very, very happy by the end of January. You may be receiving a gift from somebody. That maybe, I mean, this the Six of Wands is, somebody, is a hero. Okay, the Six of Wands is a hero. This is somebody that is a fighter, that is a, a warrior. Okay, we have a warrior here as well. You could, if you are single and you are watching this, you could meet somebody that was a soldier of some sort, or in a war, or in the military, or something like that. If you are a masculine watching this, uh, I feel as though you have an opportunity for love with uh, somebody that has also been wounded. This person has been wounded and uh, doesn't want to fight anymore, doesn't want to be, be part of any sort of competition. This person wants to uh, relax, wants to relax and settle down. There is somebody here that is probably going to fight for your affection in January. That's what I think this is. I feel like we have somebody here that uh, is going to want your attention. They are going to want you to recognize them. They are going to recognize you. And they're going to want you to recognize them. So be prepared for that. I do feel like there's public recognition here. Even somebody may recognize you, you know, or something like that. You're going to be recognized by somebody. Um, I don't know what they're doing outside. Anyhow, we do have a new start in love here after you drop this baggage that you've been carrying You're going to be getting to know somebody new that you meet at some sort of Out socializing you are out socializing you're getting to know somebody new maybe just after you moved or you went somewhere you took a ride somewhere oh, I'd like to go over there and slap them people um, anyway, you definitely have a new beginning. Anyhow, I sorry I had to put posh, push pause for a minute because of the noise next door. Um, that may be something you're dealing with in January as well, some sort of interferences. Um, so everything happens in a reading for a reason. So keep that in mind. There could be some interferences um, that interrupt your getting to know somebody. So keep that in mind. You definitely do have a new start in love here. Um, it's after you let go of a, a partnership that just didn't work out. As soon as you move away from it, as soon as you step into the future, it's like you step into this new uh, land or you step onto this new uh, territory and it happens very fast. That's the way I see it. I feel like um, this is something good. That justice is upright. It's something good. It's good karma. It's good luck. Um, everything turning out in your favor. And it's because you take action. It is because you take action and you leave the past behind because you choose to move. You're going someplace. You're going someplace because you decide to move. It's basically like you tell the universe you're ready. It's like that is the sign. That's the sign. It's the sign that says you're ready and here it is. So 
I feel like in January 2021, you will be out socializing with somebody unexpectedly. This person will want you to recognize them. They will put in effort to get you to recognize them. I feel like um, this can open up a whole new door for you with that world card. This is the end of one huge chapter of your life. You are about to start a whole new phase, right? You're about to start a whole new phase and you're going to, whoever this person is, if you're single or whatever it is that is coming in, is somebody that, you know, you can hold on to. It's somebody that you deserve. It's somebody that there will be equal, equal reciprocation with. It's like they will love you as much as you love them. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like January is going to be a really, really good month for you. Um, but I see a lot of doubts and I think that you need to get over those doubts and you need to, even if you have to, uh, put out a little bit of money, you know, do it because this will lead to, uh, beautiful major new beginning that will be successful okay this is a successful this is success so the the one the other one that didn't work out didn't work out for a reason didn't work out because whoever you were with was obsessed whoever you were with was greedy whoever you were with was selfish you know that's why that didn't work out and they they weighed you down they made you feel bad they they used you they used you for money. So I feel like uh, this is now you getting what you deserve. So be prepared for somebody to, uh, I think they're going to fall for you. They're going to fall for you and they're going to um, fight for your attention. Good luck. <laughs>